everybody and welcome to Let's Connect. I am Rishana Ganguly and today we are going to be in conversation with the prolific actor Ranvijaya, Ranvijay Singha who is going to be reprising his role as the headstrong cop Sumer Singh in the Wood Select original series Sumer Singh Case Files Girlfriends. So welcome to Let's Connect and how are you today? Hi Rishira, so good to be here and uh, I must say you're very very pretty and sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. But I am uh, pretty, I mean, I was so happy. You're pretty, that, yes. You know, <laughs> so I was so happy that I'm getting to like interview you because uh, I've seen you so much on television and my family and my friends have also seen you so much on television and everyone was like, oh my God, you're getting to interview Ranuja Singh. Oh my God, oh my God. So yeah, I'm very happy today. So you are stepping into the shoes of Sumer Singh after a long time. Again, yeah. So yeah. what made you adorn the character again? Uh, first of all, um, Rishira, I come from an um, army background. Five generations of my family were in the army. Every time there's a role that's offered to me that has me wearing a uniform, my head goes bonkers. It's already like saying yes and without hearing anything, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. And then I look into who's producing it, what's the story, blah, blah, blah. But I love wearing a uniform. I think it's a big honor if you get to wear an army officer's or, or a police officer's, you know, uniform. Uh, having said that, because I'd already done the role, I understood uh, a lot about the character. But this, this time, it was not an objective case solving situation for Sumer Singh. Like the last time when I, in Kaushi, I just went and I just had to solve the case, cut, 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 you know, one badass cop, whatever. Here, Sumer Singh gets posted to uh, to a new city, starts making friends, falls, he's falling in love with this girl, he's in, he's in a relationship and he knows her friends and all. And suddenly the case that he's trying to solve has these people involved in it. And, and suddenly, you know, that whole straightforward objective way of being a cop gets complicated because now you're emotionally involved in things, right? And when you're emotionally involved, do you do the right thing or not? And suddenly there are questions on, is Sumer doing the right thing as a cop or not? Is he the hero or the villain? And you must have seen that in the, in the promo. And that is such a great progression for a character. Right. And as an actor to do, do a character that has these complexities and you're vulnerable as an actor, as a cop, you're always like, da, 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 da. you're not vulnerable. You don't have emotional. And that came in this season. So I was like, this is growth as a character. This is growth as an actor. And, uh, and also the concept of the show, you know, and uh, Rishra, you'll definitely relate with it because, you know, we're heavily dependent on technology, mm. on uh, devices, mm. on, uh, on uh, cellular mobiles and uh, social media. We share a lot. So, I think these tools are available for us, but how we use these tools is very important. And uh, whatever happens is depending on how much you want to share. Who do you trust? And there are lots of things in your in your mobile that that you want for yourself. You know, you might have pictures and videos or information or something that you've written that you don't want to share with the rest of the world, or you're not ready and you don't need to. It's up to you, right? But what if that information gets to somebody else? How do you protect that? You know, people protect their gold and their silver and their assets and their cars and they keep them under in ga garages, you know, locks. And what about all these assets that are available on your phone, right? And these are these are things, these are scams that are happening in and around us right now. There are these Ponzi scams that happen. You give 5,000 rupees, you'll get 15 later, this and that. And all of this is a current situation. It's, it's happening in the youth and in and around us, lots of phishing. You'll get somebody calling you from a, uh, oh, you have invested money, it will get more, it will get more, and all those sort of getting the information. So it's very current. And I was like, uh, you know, the director who's directing, it's a first time director, but he is a well-renowned senior producer who actually produced the last season also, Namit sir. But it's his first direct, like he's directing the first time. So congratulations to him. And we were like, always like, yeah, your debut is but he's, you know, he's a, so that plus, you know, the whole crew, um, you know, most of them, like the important people came back, the DOP, um, uh, the writer, the, the director from last year, we made him do two scenes because we were 
like a family and uh, lots of young actors all the all the four girls karishma and uh, you know it was uh, it was just like a very vibrant set great energy lots of hanging out and chilling out and then you know we did a very efficient shoot also we shot during covid where we had to do tests before we got to the set everybody was wearing a mask and the best part was that when all of us finished the shoot and we had to go back home we did tests again everybody was negative so you know kudos to the production house and also to uh, the platform boot for making that happen yeah and it's very important as you said it's very technology and cyber space is very dubious kind of a area i mean you're not pretty sh- you're not very sure if like you're on the right path or if like there is something happening on the other side you're not sure so it's you have to tread carefully and this series i think it delves into that so what were the discussions that you had with your director about returning as your character because you have to maintain a kind of stability but also have to bring yeah. something new to the char- to the character so what were the discussions that you had a very uh, organic discussion they like to this time you know the same guy has been posted like any other officer you know you don't stay in one place for 15 years he's he's posted to another city he's because he's a bachelor he uh, meets a girl i was like wow okay is this a love story he's like you know listen and then eventually you realize that the people that he's involved with the friends circle that he has are involved in different cases and now so you have to have the same body language and everything of the character but everybody has a vulnerable side or or when a person who doesn't have an emotional uh, you haven't seen the emotional side but what happens when that person gets emotional what happens when that person is in love or when he has to choose between the right thing to do or what is good for his personal life and those are the chats that we had and um, and that's what excited me like i said before that because there was so much more to sumer singh in in this second season it was about his personal life the mother is there there's a love interest there's love interest ex boyfriend there are these three friends uh there's another guy who's involved and he knows everybody and then there's a disappearance a kidnapping a pension a ponzi scheme and how in the middle of all this what does he do and uh, that's the that's the progression of the character and i was really uh, excited to do it and we just said that you know this is how so mercy doesn't look like a player with women right so though he looks like he's got everything under control but the guy has got no skill whatsoever when it comes to women so we developed that we like yeah that's that's interesting because you can't just have a guy who's so so that brings in a, a softer side to the to the guy and uh, you know those kind of things you got to develop and it was it was a lot of fun that's that sounds amazing i mean all also bringing i have no kind of uh i mean the discussion kind of leans into both the both the director's mind as well as the actor's mind i guess is yeah is happened and the writer you know the writer also wrote the first season so he knows what sumer sumer's character is what kind of person he is and if he had to fall in love this is what this stupid thing he would do it be bondu here he tried to be funny but which should not be you know so all of that he wrote and then then the director and the writer they come up with okay maybe he should do this and then you meet the actor and the actors kind of can bring in something or bring something different and, and it's a good process it's actually very uh, creatively satisfying process hmm. and as hmm. an actor you have dabbled both um, in television as well as you know in the digital world so do you think i mean the grass is greener on one particular side or do they have both you know pro, pros and cons uh as an mean- actor rishira as an actor it's a great time to be um alive it's a great time to be working cuz um there are so many avenues where you can just showcase your talent or express yourself it could be a 15 second video it could be a 1 minute video it could be on youtube it could be on facebook it could be a web series it could be a show on tv it could be a movie it could be anything but the same people the same person can express themselves in different modes it could be on a small screen it could be on an ipad or it could be on your big tv or a or a cinema hall but today if you're if you want to act 
I don't, I think you should worry about what is the character? What is it that you want to play? And you shouldn't worry about who's going to watch it on a TV or in the, on a phone or in a cinema hall. Because we are watching the biggest superstars of the world and we're watching them on our phones. Right? So how can you be like, no, I want to do this on TV or You got to just do good work and work that excites you. Not excites everybody else, but you. If, if I like to be a cop I, or an army officer, I'll do it. I want action or a comedy thing, I'll do it. I'm not going to do something that somebody else wants me to do because they want it, right? So I, that's where I am. I want to do stuff that excites me. Could be, it could be anything. And today, if you see the one of the, the biggest stars that the youth is following are people who've never done a film or a web series. You look at Ashish, Chinchalani or Bhuvan Maam or anybody. So there is no real thing of how you become successful. You just have to believe in yourself and follow your passion. Now, most of the time, I want to just go to do sports things, right? But I enjoy those. And because of that, I get to do the things, experience NBA, Super Bowl, go watch football games and stuff like that. So you need to understand what you're enjoying and then continue to work towards that. Yeah, that's very true. And as you said, I mean, the digital world is growing and it's evolving so much. The OTT, I mean, boom that India saw last year, it's only going to grow from here. It's not going to come back down. So, addressing the yeah. elephant in the room, kind of. I mean, the show premieres in the wake of the INP guidelines. So, and coincidentally, your show also talks about the cons of cyberspace, so to say. So, what is your idea on how this show will kind of impact the kind of uh, atmosphere that it has been released in? Um, I think uh, if the show is good, it gets a lot of people to, uh, I mean, because you have the time to watch it because you're indoors. And then you always share. These days you share with people that, hey, man, I watched this. It's interesting. You must watch it. How is it going to impact people is that I think people will be more careful with their with their phones and with the data that they have, they'll start protecting their data. Uh, they will do two-step authentication or whatever it takes to, you know, because whatever is your personal information, you gotta, you you got to be very careful of what you put out there. Also on the social media, sometimes, I'll give you an example. If I'm in a city where there's an event and people have uh, arranged for my security from the airport to the hotel and to the event and, you know, I should go back home safely. If I start saying, hey, I'm at this hotel, look at my room, I'm in this room, what a nice room, and then I'm giving away information and putting a lot of people in a, in a situation where I'm inconveniencing them and myself. So one has to be, you can't just be careless about things that you put out there. You know, it's time where, like, in this whole situation, if you're at a set, or if you are in a place where you're not wearing a mask and you're showing your fans that, oh, we are here, we are partying and all. And then you, on the other hand, are saying, oh, maintain social distancing. So you've got to be a little aware of what you're putting out there is going to be affecting people and you. I think that's what is going to make people. Because here, in the same way, like, because of the social media and some accounts, Sumer kind of cracks something. He uses it to his advantage. Whereas it's a disadvantage for some people. Right? And how, how scams happen, how uh, phishing of information happens, how people can get, uh, you know, credit card information, how it can be used against. So I think people with, with new situations in, in life, with new problems, when they get recreated in web series or movies and stuff like that is how people also get adapt to that in their lives. Even in fashion, you know, you look at some actors and like, hey, I want to dress like this. And that's what happened. Oh, these are new problems. And this is what we should also do. We should do some security of our info and you know not give up and uh, I think that's what it's going to do yeah that is, that yeah, is, yes, that is uh, uh, looking at how people are watching uh, web series and binging them I think it will impact them in some way or, or the other and it will kind of um, help them engage their grey cells uh, as to how to use social media and how to use the digital space well so lastly, I just want to talk about your future projects and um, what what kind of do you look at right now because of the COVID-19 pandemic and the lockdown that's happening. So, yeah. For me, um, I look at uh, very short-term 
um, things physically, like in the next couple of months, what I want to go back to my wife and my daughter. I want to be there because I've been here for a few months. I finished uh, Spitzvilla, finished Sumer Singh. I want to go back. Um, and uh, hopefully things will be better and we'll be able to shoot uh, the next season of Roadies. Then there's another web series that I have done, which I have to complete. And uh, just want to be around my family as much as I can be. Right now I'm with my parents here in Chandigarh and then I want to be with my wife and my daughter as soon as possible. Those are my uh, priorities in life more than what's next work-wise. It'll happen. Whatever has to happen. That sounds wonderful, as always. Yeah. Um, <laughs> very important right now, I think, to be family-oriented and to be close to your family in these yeah. hard times. So, uh, your always. I think. I think not just this time, uh, Rishira. You once you. The only reason you want to. Uh, I don't know. I hope it's the same for many people. But the only reason I want to do well and. Uh, and have resources is so that my family is happier and they're better resources and my friends who are around me, people around me, I can you know, give them better resources and platforms and life and we can get better experiences. If if you're not doing that, then what's the point of being so successful? What are you going to do with that? Very true. Mm. Those are very uh, big words. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it actually makes a lot of sense uh, because stardom only goes so far. Family is there forever. And you have to chart your path according to how you give to others. So, um, yeah, I hope that you do well in your future and I wish you all the best for your future projects and thank you so much for joining me in this conversation. I loved uh, having this conversation with you because it was so insightful and you, uh, I mean, your character, you spoke about your character, you spoke about the series and you spoke about the implications that it may have on the audience watching it and I think it, uh, the audience will very well grasp what the series is about uh, after your answers. So thank you so much for joining me, Ranvijay. I love having this conversation with you. Best of luck, Rishida. Take care of yourself. Thank you. And uh, stay thank safe. You. When you watch a bit of it, let us know what you think. Yes, I will. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.